The rain calendar reset on October 1st, and we are officially in the rainy season now through April. For the third straight year, we're looking at La Nina conditions with cooler sea surface temperatures, and that's very unusual. Meteorologist Sean Stiles looks at what that could mean for precipitation out west for this winter. San Diego is potentially heading into its third year of drought. The state of California, it's fourth, and we're looking at another La Nina, which generally means less rain. Let's take a look at what could happen here as far as rainfall is concerned. 2020 to 2021, 21, 22, two back-to-back -back years, water years, that were about 60% of average. Alex Tardy is a meteorologist with NOAA at the National Weather Service. And multiple years of all this warm water bottled up. In the he told me center. that 2018, 2019 was even drier. Very dry. I think it was like top five in terms of dry. Yeah, we've been on a roller coaster. We're just now starting our rainy season that lasts through April. And for the third year in a row, La Nina is in the Eastern Pacific. This is the cooler sea surface temperatures that can change our weather patterns. It's still the same magnitude, same intensity. And the reason why that has some importance is it influences not just the ocean temperatures, but it influences our weather, especially our rainy season. Why that matters is La Nina can shift the storms and leave much of California out of the storm track. And since most of our water comes from rain and snow in the Sierra Nevada and the Rocky Mountains, that can be a huge problem to our water supply. The stress on the water supply where we're getting it all from, Colorado and Northern California, is much greater than just two years. The hard part about La Nina is forecasting the weather. 2010, 2011, similar La Nina as we're dealing with right now, in the ocean at least. One of the wettest years in the Sierra Nevada on record. Uh, one of the snowiest years on record, 2010, 2011. However, the current models say different. The model guidance, 60, 90 days out, they all are indicating much higher odds of drier than normal for most of California. For the Colorado Basin, where 60% of our water comes from, the outlook is much better with an equal chance for average precipitation. For Tardy, he prefers to look at the glass half full when it comes to California and San Diego. There's still a solid 30% chance that we could see at least normal. We'll take normal. So even though La Nina is in place, there's still a 30% chance that we could see average rainfall for the Western United States. We'll have to wait and see what heads our way.